Dress Code. Granite Park, like many schools, has a dress code document that explains what you can and can't wear. And it has a lot of information in it, so to keep it simple, today we are going to focus on just one part of our dress code here at Granite Park. Many of our school's dress code requirements exist because we want to keep all students safe. This is the main reason for our decision to not allow hats, beanies, or hoods to be worn at Granite Park. Let me explain. Hats and hoods. We need to be able to easily identify our students, and the wearing of hats and hoods limits our ability to do this. Oftentimes, we have students from other schools who come to our campus. Because we do not allow hats and hoods, we can quickly identify those non-Granite Park students because they often are wearing hats and hoods. We also want all students to be responsible students, and we have found that hoods, in particular, can reduce the ability of students to be engaged in their classes. Often students wearing hoods isolate themselves from their peers, and we want all of our students to learn collaborative skills and be active learners in class. Another reason for this rule is that hats, beanies, and hoods also allow students the opportunity to hide their use of AirPods and headphones during instruction time, which once again leads to reduced engagement in the classroom. There is one exception to the hat policy at Granite Park, and that is that a student can wear a Granite Park hat. Students can earn these hats by demonstrating safe, respectful, and responsible behaviors at school. Students will be able to purchase a hat using Grizz Bucks at the school store. Hats will be awarded to Students of the Month. And we will also have school competitions and drawings for hats. Once again, only Granite Park hats will be allowed at our school. Okay, hold up. There's actually been a slight change to this policy uh, this year, the 2023-2024 school year. We are going to try something just a touch different, and that is because the SBOs, that's right, those people, those students that you voted for to be like class officers, well, they came and they wanted to make a change, and they have suggested that we actually allow any hat on Friday. So what? although Granite Park hats are allowed at any time, any day of the week, on Friday, we're going to let you guys wear whatever hat you want to wear. I mean, it's got to be within reason. It can't be like crazy distracting and stuff. But if you just, if you got this hat that you really like at home and you want to wear it on a Friday, you can because your SBOs have lobbied for this and we have said, okay. So if you'd like to wear a hat on Friday, that's awesome. You can wear it on Friday. Uh, hoods, on the other hand, are still not allowed on Fridays, just to be clear. Hoods are a never-ever thing, but hats, yes. Now let's talk about some consequences. Back to the video. Unfortunately, for those who decide to ignore this part of the dress code, there are, of course, consequences. Hats and beanies will be confiscated, and the parent will be required to pick up the item from an administrator. And even the first time this happens, a parent or guardian will have to come to school to pick up the hat or beanie. Now, if a student wears a hood, you will simply be asked to take it off. If a student refuses, they will be required to meet with administration and parents to discuss the issue. If a student has multiple violations, the consequences get worse and they might have even the right of wearing a hoodie to school taken away. We do not want to take these steps, so we are asking that all students be respectful and responsible and follow the guidelines provided. If you have questions, please talk to an administrator. They would love to discuss this in more detail with you if you have any questions.